I'm surprised you've never heard of uh, Attack there, Rue. It wasn't like the biggest gaming series in the world on the PS2 or anything like that, but it was somewhat popular. And, uh... Uh, it was also a Nickelodeon show after... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Attack and the Power of Juju, the first game. I don't think that was a Nickelodeon show yet, but by the time, like, the second and third game and whatnot came out, though, it was a Nickelodeon show turned game or whatever. I have no idea who Dip the Naked Guinea Pig is, but I'm sorry they died. It's Tuesday? What? <laughs> I mean, it is Tuesday. This is true. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Oh, is today? Uh, okay, yeah. I didn't realize. Today is Tuesday, two twenty-two twenty-two. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot all about that. I was just mentioning that to my brother the other day, actually. That uh, I was surprised, like, by it. I didn't even know it was a thing. And then uh, I was looking at the calendar, as one does, and happened to notice that like it was all twos. I was uh. Very surprised. And then I saw that, what was it, Burger King was doing like 22% off or something? I don't remember. They were doing some sort of thing too. Uh, Dinky Games. What the hell was Dinky Games? Wait, that hair looks familiar. Maybe you do know this. Like I said, Tack was pretty popular and it was a Nickelodeon show. So like, a lot of people know of it. It's, it's not a huge game or anything, but I feel like most people know it. What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, free play or dinky challenge? I would just get. Can we pick one? Three? Three's the lowest? Okay. I guess we'll play tax. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. It's a famous TikTok guinea pig. Her owner was always rubbing coconut oil on her. Oh, I'm sorry, love. It seems like you cared about the guinea pig. Uh, Mummy Shuttle? So is this like a party game mode? A uh, mini game mode or something? I'm confused. Anyways, how's everybody doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing alright. I'm feeling a lot better than I was. My head's still a little foggy. And I still have a tiny bit of a cough every now and then. But I'm feeling a lot better than I was. And Noodle and I got our test back. Uh, this afternoon and we are covid negative so that's awesome like I'm, I'm i'm happy about that no covid for us <laughs> save orange mummies help green mummies fall score 1500 points in 90 seconds start opposing mummies on fire start your mummies on fire okay i don't know what's going on <laughs> so we can run what's this do that sets things on fire. So wait, I'm supposed to like push mine out of the way. Yeah, okay. So I see. We got to like push some out of the way, help push other in, whatever. But we're going to play the actual game. <laughs> I just I had no idea what the dinky games was. I've played the first tack game before, not only on stream, but when I was younger. But I've never played any of the other tack games. Or did I play tack in the power of juju when I was younger? I at least knew of it. I don't remember how much of it I actually played. Maybe it's one of those things where, like, somebody I knew had it or something. I don't remember, but. First, pot roast the cat. Now dip the guinea pig. Noodle the pug needs to put it be put in a bubble. <laughs> what is with all these names that your, uh, your TikTok animals have? Hey, uh, no COVID. Up, Hell yeah. Wake up. You've been asleep for too long. Come on, Tack. Snap out of it. He's been like this for days. I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end, Locke. Oh, creepy. His eyes are open, but he still snows it. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Poopanunu people is taking the world's longest nappy. Well, if he's tired, I can take over being great and mighty, mighty, and great. Great, great. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Great, great, mighty, mighty. <laughs> great. Great, great. <sighs> Mighty. I need helpful ideas, Locke, about waking tech. That huge ass nose is familiar too, and is that Kronk? Yes and yes. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, you! Wakey, wakey! 
Good morning, <laughs> sunshine. Rise and shine. Open up those eyes of yours, sleepyhead. Stop it, Luck. I've already tried that. Okay, plan data. You grab their nose. They can't breathe. You wake up real fast. Luck. Uh. I think, I think he's turning blue. No, Pax always looked a little blue. Not that blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's gonna kill us. Rule coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Jabalba? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. That's a uh, weird opening to the game. Did not expect that. Uh, <laughs> anyways, just double checking all of my levels here real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. where's my HDMI input? There it is. And my mic input. Okay. Looks okay. Close all that. Okay. Our buddy is getting more Magic the Gathering cards together for me, but it, bro, y'all really don't have to do that. Like, <laughs> lucky son of a gun ended up with a whole booster box when he ordered and paid for a single pack. What the hell? I wish I could get that lucky one of these days, man. That's awesome. A whole booster box paying for one pack. That's amazing. Half expecting a big nose to slap us to prevent us from sleeping. What the hell? Huh? <laughs> the great uh. and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman. Where do you buy a single pack for two uh, bucks you? even? What is this place? That's a cheap ass you pack. Light down? This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Of what now? Magic the Gathering. Kronk is, uh, yes. The same voice actor plays Locke, I think his name is. Terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world. The Guardian, who wields the world-destroying power of the staff of dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone. Except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hello? Nah, I'm good. I'm out. Peace. Get back here. Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. Cooper Nunu. Princess who has been cruelly <laughs> imprisoned within a dark and. I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on. That's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably going to wake up any minute. No, Tack. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tack. Hmm. Something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my masterful command of juju magics, I can... It was Card King and we think he got the pack on discount. Was that including, like, uh... Uh, was that including shipping and whatnot, too, though? Or was that just for the pack? Because, like, if that was including shipping, too, that's incredible, man. Two bucks? I mean, two bucks is a good price for just a pack, even if you had to pay shipping, but still. Tack, you're kind of dumb. Tack is kind of dumb. This is true. I decide you're going to get a 3D printer. Hey, yeah, do it, man. For sure. Just don't be surprised if I'm down at your house uh, printing out shit all the time. Because <laughs> I've always wanted one. I just don't have a place to put one. That's the only reason I don't already have one in my house is because, like, I don't know where the hell I'd put it. It's the only place I could make sure the cats or, like, didn't mess with it or anything like that would be, uh, in the bedroom. 
but I also run an air conditioner pretty much 24-7 in the bedroom. And the 3D printer needs to be able to get to a certain temperature, not only to melt the filament, of course, but also to help the filament adhere to the base plate. So, yeah, I'm just like, where the hell am I going to put this thing? So, I haven't picked one up yet, but one of these days I do want to. I've been thinking about, like, you can build a little box to put it in, which also helps it uh, hit a temperature more easily, like, helps keep it more efficient. So I was thinking I like doing that, and then if it was in a little box, I could put it in a different room or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. You ordered a bundle and a single pack paid it all with store credit, and just make sure you bring Phil in. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds fair. Okay, I'm spinning the camera around. Got it. What? I'm, did he tell us to do something else? Uh... Hello? <laughs> Why can't I move all of a sudden? Uh... Game? I'm actually... What is going on? Throw in range, use weapon and jump, okay. Uh... Hello? I'm... Do we soft lock the game? <laughs> like, I would admit, I wasn't really listening to what he was saying, but, um... We can't move. I'm stuck. I am completely 100%. I can't move. That's the thing. Like, I can't... Hey, thank you for the bits of noodle. I appreciate it, but that doesn't help me move. <laughs> I, I can't do anything. I'm pressing every button on the controller. It's not moving. I can move the camera around, obviously. But I can't move Tack. He's just... He's dead. And my control stick's not broke. Because, like, I can still move in the... the, the <laughs> still move in the menu here. What the hell's going on? Uh, Google. Google, I have a question for you. Uh, Tack to... The Staff of Dreams. Can't move. Okay. Da, 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 da. Tack stream. Yep. Now cross the pillars over here are manor spheres. You can also find bugs and hit certain plants of so for making juju potions. Just kill enemies to make platform. Okay, well that that is not helpful at all. Is there like a uh we need a YouTube video please? Uh walk through. Yep. Uh hundred percent full game long play. Let's go. YouTube to the rescue mute that we might actually yeah i'm thinking we probably will end up having to reset the game but okay press a twice to double jump all right yep we we did that okay and then we got down here pick up the mana spheres we did that Yep, we did all that. Yeah, it just says rotate the stick until you can see me. That's what it says to do. And like, we can see you, bro. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to reset the game. Let me go hit the button. I'll be right back. That's weird. Hopefully we can skip the cutscenes. Because, uh... If we can't skip the cutscenes, that's going to be a bit annoying. But... Going to get a Creality Ender 3 and 9 different colors of filament. Creality Ender 3. I think I've heard of that one. I think that's the one that my sister's boyfriend was getting as well. Or was he... They might be married at this point. Honestly, I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, I don't know much about it. I didn't know uh, that startup sound, though. I know what you mean. I know 100% what you mean. Um, I don't know anything about it. Like, I haven't looked at any reviews or anything, but I hope you end up liking it, man. I remember seeing the price of it. The price was really decent, but yeah. You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. The whole dining room smells like dill. My dill, like, suddenly exploded. I don't know what happened to it. Why? 
But like instead of growing individual little strands coming off of it or whatever, the stock in the middle just shot up over the course of a couple days without growing any new stocks. So like, I, I don't know what to do with it. I ended up just having to cut off the main stock. I'm hoping the whole thing doesn't die now. It, it might. But honestly, I have quite a bit of dill from it. So if it does, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we didn't we didn't get any saves in there, but I guess that's okay. It's a highly recommended hey, uh, highly recommended one, especially for beginners. Nice, man. As long as it's not a MakerBot. What's wrong with MakerBot? I don't. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember why. All right, tax streams. Actually, you know what? We need to go in. I want to turn the music down a little bit. But turn the sound volume up all the way I want to make sure I'm assuming sound volume would include like voices and whatnot too I'm hoping they just suck that's why <laughs> that's fair honestly yeah Hello. I haven't looked up anything about 3d printers in a long time <clears throat> I used to follow a bunch of 3d printing channels and whatnot because like I said I, I really wanted one I was really interested in the whole 3d printing scene and whatnot but uh I ended up not getting one, obviously. And uh, slowly I stopped watching all of the reviews and tips and tricks and all that BS. So yeah. I really want... I would also like one of the resin printers. I think those are really cool. Um, I'm a little iffy about having giant tanks of resin in my house. And uh, they're generally more expensive too, but the print quality on those is amazing. But this time, you have been called here... They've basically been the same ever since they were created. No improvements, and honestly, they just don't work most of the time. Fair. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I really just want one to print uh, not only little useful things, but also... Um, I like tinkering with electronics a lot, so being able to print little cases and things like that would be cool. Like, I, I play around a lot with Raspberry Pis as well, and being able to make little cases from my Raspberry Pis and shit. Except One of the reasons you, I bought the uh, laser printer that I have is because you can use laser printers to make your own um, circuit boards. Simple circuit boards. You can't get the same sort of definition on homemade ones as you can from like factory made ones. But still, you just uh, print out whatever your circuit board looks like on paper and then you use heat to transfer the quote unquote ink right from the paper <clears throat> excuse me from the paper over to the copper coated board and then you put that in an etching solution and it takes away all the copper but anything covered by the ink gets left behind so there you go circuit board like <laughs> People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the Those point? are next day? Hell yeah, dude. I got you on that. Hopefully you'll have it ordered on Thursday. Cool. That's awesome, man. Honestly, yeah. Once you get it all set up and everything, like I said, I might have to, uh... I might have to stop down one of these days and, uh... <laughs> provide a print. If I remember correctly, that printer, when I was looking it up for my sister's boyfriend, husband, fiancé, um... Something new about myself, huh? Uh, it also takes like SD card or USB prints, so I'll just load them up on a SD card or USB or whatever and hand it off to you and provide the filament, of course, for any of them that I want to get done. Right now, then, pay attention. Using my masterful command. All right, try this again. To all the little bros. Chop you up. Let's just call them. Blobbies, we'll just call them blobby, shall we? That sounds fair to me. We can do that. Okay. X. Jump. Thank you. Are you going to tell me to double jump now? How about now? Okay. Double jump, guys. We can press X twice. I know. Thank you. Glad you told me this. I'd be, I'd be so lost without you, Mr. Dream Dude. Follow me. Follow me. I'm following you. New worries. Rotate a right analog stick so you can see. Rotate there we go. Yeah, see, that's <laughs> hmm. That's a that's a good sign for the game here, man. Whenever <laughs> we got that glitch on the first go. Oh boy, I'm worried. Sounds good. You're getting silver, gold, bronze, and another fancy color of filament. What's the other fancy color? 
Have you just not decided yet? Or, okay. I, I'm assuming it's because we're in this dream world, but the controls feel a little weird, a little floaty. Oh, we got a glide as well. Keep track of what's happening for me, guy. The birthing unit calls. <laughs> that's, that's one name there, I guess. Okay, so like... See that floating lobby there? Okay. So, I thought we would like use our cape or something. But uh, no, we just we just literally float. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It's a little weird, but uh, what? <laughs> Hello? I was holding the X button. Oh, I have to destroy both of them. That's why we couldn't make it. Honestly, I didn't even see the other one on the side there. Let's go! Kill the blobbies! We need to be the first one of these games, man. We played a couple hours of it or whatever on stream, but obviously we never got around to finish it. We need to, though. They're fun games. They're not, they're not like the world's best games or anything like that, but they're good games. Or at least the first one was. I'm assuming the second one here will be. Okay, well, beating that weird-looking one doesn't seem to do much. Oh, it gave us a, a crystal of some sort. Okay, very fancy. We'll take it. Red copper is the other fancy one in that pack. Also getting one with red, blue, purple, black, and white. Very cool. Are you getting uh, ABS or... Uh... Oh, man, I forget the name of the other type of plastic. ABS and... Uh, buh, buh, buh. There's another type of plastic. That's really common. I can't believe it. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Yeah, it's not coming to me. I just don't remember. PLE. PLA. That's it. <laughs> PLE. PLA. I almost had it. I was close. <laughs> I've watched enough videos on 3D printing. I should have all this shit memorized by now, honestly. Um... Okay, we must be missing something. So I'm assuming this thing up here is supposed to like stretch out like the other one did. Oh, there's another floating bro. Hi, floating bro. Can we invert the the camera? Control, options, no. There's like no options at all. Okay. So you're getting, you're getting PLA though? Is that the one that you're getting? Oh, there's another, another floaty bro. Any more? Is that all of them? Are we supposed to throw it clear at you over there? I don't think we can throw that far. I don't know if we can, can we jump that far? Yeah, okay. I guess with the, the floaty ability too, it's not all that bad. You see that great bear tank? That is where you need to go. Your path is complete. Jump across to the rift. Huh. Jump across time. to the rift, okay. To creep me out. Uh floaty float. I uh I forget which is which at this point. PLA is the one that's like a little bit harder to print with, but is the stronger one, right? And then ABS is the easier to print one, but it the the, the plastic isn't quite as strong. Something like that, not as resistant to heat and shit. Pitfiend has swallowed the rift and your only escape from the dream world. You can defeat it by destroying its tentacles. I think that's how it went, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but Summon some lowly imps to try and stop you from continuing. Not lowly imps, guys. Uh, okay, well, apparently we can't freaking aim for shit when we throw stuff at them. <laughs> Can we destroy the, the portal? Destroy the portal, please. Thank you. GG. You think it's the other way around? Unsure, though. Haven't looked that much into that part yet, honestly. Fair. So I, I think... I'm right, but I don't remember either, to be honest. So, <laughs> I just, I thought PLA was the harder to print one. And the, the reason why people put up with it being harder to print, though, is because it produces better quality. Uh, but, again, 
been at least a couple years since I've really looked into 3D printing stuff beyond uh, looking up that one printer for for my sister's fiance, boyfriend, whatever he is. Don't do it, Locke! It's too strong! Oh. We might lose him! Come on, Jabalba, a little bit of juju. Smelling salts never hurt anybody. <laughs> it's working, Jabalba, he's waking up! <laughs> juju smelling salts do it every time. I remember back when I was uh, wrestling. Uh, plug, uh, what's wrong with you people? I'm trying to take a little nap here. Tech! You've been asleep for 16 days! So? Does that mean crazy people can come and shove their moist, stinking pit in my face? Yep, sure does. <laughs> That's not all. I've been sleeping for 16 days? You were dreaming. You kept talking about a princess. Princess? <laughs> what princess? That's right. I'm supposed to rescue some princess. She's trapped in the dream world, but how can I do that, Jaboba? Mm. Well... We'll have to go see my brother, JB. He's an expert in the world of dreams. Oh, we better get going. Wouldn't want anybody else to rescue that princess. <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking King Locke, right? Hey, I'm not greedy. I like Prince Locke, too, especially if she's a looker. Uh, Locke, there's no way... Uh, how can I put this? Uh, Locke, would you help out the wise and powerful shaman of the Pupununu people? By going back to my hut and uh, uh, fetching my other pair of sandals, uh, I have a very painful bunion. Dogs fetch shoes, Jabalba. Prince locks fetch princesses. Whatever. Ah, but <laughs> these are the sacred I love that voice sandals, actor. the most powerful open-toed shoes in the history of magical footwear. Really? Ooh, I need those. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. But Jaboba, you don't have any sacred sandals. Maybe Locke will find me a pair. They sound fantastic. In the meantime... Jaboba? Down here! Yeah. What are you doing? Just hitching a ride. Now, let's set off for my brothers before Locke gets back. Lot of freaking cutscene in this game, man. Gonna do some more digging once it's actually in hand. You just know the one group is always recommended for heavier duty things, and that's where your guess is coming from. Yeah, like I said, there there's a very decent chance that I'm misremembering because it has been years, like I said, since I've looked into 3D printing stuff. So, and it is her husband. I I can't keep track of stuff. <laughs> Who's married to who? Who's dating who? I don't know, man. Too many people to remember all this shit. <laughs> Husband, boyfriend, whatever, fiance. It's all close enough. Significant other. That's 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 what I'm gonna start calling everybody. Just <laughs> so and so significant other. That's the only way I'm gonna remember anything. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have so many siblings. I feel like I don't have that many. I have a few, but it's not like I have a, a crap ton. We don't have a huge family. There's what. Uh, three, one, two, yeah, four, four siblings, not counting my dad's side, but my dad's side doesn't really count anyways, so, I mean, <laughs> that's not that many. Can we collect the butterfly too, or, oh, we can, cool. You legit end up saying partner a lot at this point, that's how I'm just gonna have to, man, because I can never keep track of, of, uh, like I said, who's married, who's, who's just dating, all that BS. So, yeah, partner it is. Nasty wood spirits are the bane of all nature. That squirrel's giving me some, uh... Oh, shit, what's his name? From Ice Age, man. Scrit? Is, is that what it is? Scratch? Scratch? Scrit? I don't remember his name. It's giving me some serious, uh, that, that dude vibes. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. Are you gonna, like, give me anything for... No? Really? Wait, why are you throwing shit at me, bro? I just saved you. Damn. I ain't got no respect. Wait, is he legitimately, like, hurting me by throwing shit at me? What the hell, bro? It's the last time I help you with anything. Next time, I'll just let him keep you locked up, you little dick. <laughs> ah, a juju shrine. If we can find the tiki, we can summon a powerful juju spirit to help us. There, Tack. 
That's the tiki you need. You know what's always weird about sequels like this, man? This area is completely different from what we played through in the last game, even though this is a sequel. So, in theory, we should be, like, in the same area, right? But everything looks completely different. So, <laughs> always confuse me a little bit. They gotta keep it fresh. I understand why, but it's just weird. Also, that's uh, one hell of a bear there. Are we gonna are we gonna drop the freaking thing on his head? Oh no, we're just gonna jump on his belly. Okay, well that's <laughs> that doesn't seem safe, but uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Lice weird. I can't argue with you there. Look for the picture at the top of the screen when we need advice. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what he's saying. So, like, right there, his picture showed up so we could press circle to get advice. Yeah, well, we don't, we don't need no advice from you. We got this. Grab it. Thank you. Hold circle to swing. Okay. I was trying to actually like swing it back and forth, but that moves us up and down on the on the rope. Two E a Z, bro. I've been wanting to play more PS2 games lately in general. I'm considering. Oh man, I don't know, cause I got to get through the list of games. I like I was thinking of maybe trying and do like uh, uh playing through a game more than once a week instead of just doing it on saturdays maybe doing it on like saturdays and thursdays or, or something but uh i don't know man so i just ain't got i ain't got the time i feel like without making the uh the normal oh no splat <laughs> We missed uh, without making the the trying every PS2 game thing just take much, much longer. Okay, try that again. Uh, okay, now we're going to go over. Ugh. So we throw it right at him. That's not high enough. We throw it below him or right. Yeah, whatever. Above him and that's too high. Let's try it again. There we go. Press X to bite or circle to sleep. <laughs> okay. I mean, that works, I guess. Is there, like, another one somewhere? There is, over there. Okay. This is a uh, interesting mechanic, to say the least. What's he... Can we control where he throws it at? It doesn't look like it. They're just always going to throw it at something. Fair enough. Uh, bros ain't too happy. I mean, we've already kind of kicked your ass once, so... Like, yeah. <laughs> Plus, don't you know at this point, we are like the world's great savior or whatever? I don't think you want to mess around with tack, man. Why? So what, if we put them to sleep, I'm assuming they just stop throwing shit at us for a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Look, that's not my fault, okay? That collision is fucked up. Circle to put to sleep. So now we can just, like, go over here and he won't throw anything at us? Yeah, okay. That's fair. Brilliant. You found a recipe for a juju potion. Ah, oh, bro, there's another one over there. Hold on, there's all kinds of shit. Is this the way we're supposed to go? I don't know, we're jumping down. Ow. This is the way we went, right? Why are there... Feathers again? I guess the feathers respawn after a moment? So what do the juju potions do? Universal card. Try your hand at mixing your own formula. Flea Flyer one player. Unlock one player Flea Flyer dinky game. Unlock tack to opening cinematic and the extras menu. Oh. 
So that's all the potions do? <laughs> I thought the potions would be like something useful for for the game itself, not just like little uh, extras. If they were like cheats or something, like the way that it works in, uh, you know, Ratchet and Clank, the game we just finished, then that would be cool. Like if you made a potion to unlock, I don't know, infinite health or infinite... Uh, I mean, I guess ammo is not really a thing in this game, right? Because we just we can throw whatever these purple things are as much as we want. But you get what I'm saying. Big head mode, all that sort of BS. That would have been cool. And maybe later on there will be cooler potions like that. I don't like, uh, once you jump, you don't have a whole lot of control anymore over the way you're going. You kind of need to uh, plan ahead with where you're jumping and then kind of stick to it. You got to commit. Throw the flea again. Oh, this is touchy too. Okay, yep. We missed. Try again. <laughs> there we go. Surely this will hit, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess we want you to throw, right? Or, or not the string. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That works. And then... Circle. Wait, which way are we jumping? Okay, yeah, I guess we're jumping over here. Oh no, more rock dudes! Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I ain't that worried about some rock rows. Woodies, whatever they're called. <laughs> this ain't the first Woody I've beaten today. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the bits, Noodle. Uh, Congratulations. You do run, hold down L1. Okay, so we can actually run now. Almost to 200 bits? Thank you, love. I appreciate it. Now you can use your power to run or swim at astounding speed. Run and swim at astounding speeds. Okay, dude, I get it. You'll gain more shaman powers. I'll teach you about them as we go. That was referring to the commit bit. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, uh, the comment bit? The co co commit bit? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, why did we want to get skunked on exactly? Was there a reason for this? What'd you miss? Birthing unit took up more time than you thought they would? Uh, you didn't miss much, to be honest, man. Just us running around. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it, really. <laughs> we beat up some woodies. And uh, collected some berries. We can run fast now. You said you had to commit, and I said, well, dang, that's why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you now. It's always rough because the comments show up like 20, 30 seconds after I say things that I say. And let's be honest, I don't really think about the things I say. I just say things, so. <laughs> All right, how do we get the bear over here? Can we flee him, too? Oh, yeah, uh, the, the little, the, the, the smart dude, the shaman, whatever the hell you call him, uh... He also turned into a flea, and now we can use him to do things, but, uh, right, so wait, can we, like, uh, <laughs> ow, <laughs> uh, that didn't work, how do we get him over here? Bears eat honey, and then we can, we can jump on their belly, but I don't know how to get him over here. I'm assuming if we hit that, that's not gonna, that's not gonna end well, right? Mr. Big Nose? Yeah, Mr. Big Nose. Maybe that'll get him over there? Wait for it. No. He just dances around and swings at him for a moment. What the hell? Black sucks on the comments? Yeah, makes it rough. Mr. Big Nose? Yeah, that's the one. 
you can have him beat the woodies. Oh, that <clears throat> that would make sense, but I still don't uh, still don't know how that helps us with the bear eating the stuff. Okay, so we stink now. We got the skunk. Can we like scare the bear over there with his 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 big nose? There we go. Scare him over to the honey because we smell like shit. <laughs> That'll do the trick. Now we're th cooking with gas or whatever. You gotta be stinky. Well, you don't you don't like smelling like a literal skunk? Does every feather refill our juju power? It does. Good, good, good. I like the ability to run. <laughs> That's nice. Tiki to the shrine. I think I can handle that. Do the jungle book. You have issues with wax melts and strong scented candles already? Oh, I feel you there, man. I do like wax melts and candles and stuff, but anything that's too, too strong smelling gets gets to me, too. Gives me a headache. Maybe I should find another juju. No, wait. <laughs> this is weird as shit, I'm so dude. Sorry. He has no brain. That's why I had to take over. <laughs> he told me I take war bass. <laughs> the moon's not even out right she now. does sometimes, I don't though. Know why he has to act like such a clown? <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. She sprays herself with like 20 spritz of body spray. It's way too much, man. You should hope it never happens to you. So, is there any way you can help us go down the river? I'll help you if you get me another barrel of juju candy. I keep them hidden in that cave up there. Where's this cave exactly? Okay, well, five is too much if that's all you're doing. <laughs> just next to the sunny side of the southern facade. Silver stone, southern facade. Got it. I'll be right back. It's a body spray. It goes on the body. That's fine. Spray wherever the hell you want, but it doesn't need more than one spray. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. The path to the cave is blocked. What do we do now? Maybe an animal can help us. Uh, suddenly puzzle game. So wait, how's the animal gonna help us? Is it actually blocked? Oh, I see. There's uh the the rocks up here now. Okay, I didn't see those before. You certainly hope this is still Dreamland. Nope, we uh we made it out of Dreamland pretty easily. It didn't take very long at all. All we had to do was fight one. I guess technically it was a boss, but like it was an extremely easy boss. Oh no, the currents are too strong. Uh, are we dead? <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. This is still slow as shit. I didn't realize there were currents in this game. Uh, go. Oof, perfume gets me too. My folks actually stopped wearing it, so I would stop sneezing. See, I'm not that bad, I don't think. Like, I don't I don't start sneezing because of it and whatnot, but it just gives me headaches. It's just too much, man. Sensory open. Why? Okay, this game is glitchy as hell. <laughs> what? what am I standing on? I grabbed the air next to him like he was a ledge, and now I'm just standing on a floating platform. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. His head? I'm pretty sure that was just straight ground I was standing on. Okay, I'm assuming if we get the stinky shit. Right, yeah, we, we get the stink. But now if we go in the water, we'll probably stop stinking. So yeah, we just need to avoid the water, scare him all the way around to it, and then maybe flee him to get him to attack it or something? I don't know. Oh. Hold on. Uh, we gotta, we gotta put you to sleep. Alright, so he's sleeping now. Do we still stink? We do not. Son of a bitch. 
How long is that squirrel gonna stay asleep? You've been using Ariana Grande's cloud. It smells so good. Like, I think perfumes smell good. Don't get me wrong. I just think that they're too much. Uh, freaking... I almost called it a squirrel. Uh, what the hell is it called? Skunk? <laughs> Alright. No, don't touch the water. Alright, try this again. Hopefully that dude's still asleep. Is he still asleep? No, he's definitely not. I do not like you. So wait, okay. So order of operations here, right? I think maybe... Okay, so I need to put him to sleep before I go over to the bear then. So like I'll stand over here, right? Put him to sleep and then go around. Also, what is that up there? Can I get up there to his head? Looks like there's something on his head. Can I can I jump up there maybe? No. No, maybe not. I don't know. Just I don't know if that's just like his hair or if there's actually something that we can grab from him. Can we hit him from here? Uh, what? No, that definitely hit him, bro. Come on. Cut me some slack, man. Okay. Go. What is what is going on? <laughs> that definitely hit him, like both times. What if we go from up here? Oh man, the controls are so touchy. Also, oh, my line of thing is that if I stink, it means I put in a hard day's worth of work. There you go, man. Okay, I'm starting to think we're just too far away. Like, maybe we just can't throw it that far. Although, I feel like we've thrown it farther before. There we go. Okay. Put it to sleep. Now, hopefully it stays asleep. While we quickly get stinkified. And then freaking run over here like a madman. Scare the bear. That dude better still be asleep. Good, he's still asleep. Hey! Oh, that was close. Oh, we can just scare him away with our stink, too. Either that or was it the, uh... It was either our stink or the bear, but either way. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, no, we can't jump that far, so where are we jumping with it, then? We did all that work. Now what What did it do for us? You can tolerate some vanilla scented ones okay. And there's like two or three colognes I can get away with wearing with little issues. I really like vanilla though. That's <laughs> that's part of the reason why. For sure. I really like vanilla scents. So what did that do to help us? <laughs> you are having trouble catching the skunk. Why not let me tell him to sleep? Oh, uh, we can use the flea on the skunk. Does that do anything for us? Come here, skunk boy. Oh, nope. Okay, that didn't work. It'd be easier if the skunk wasn't running around. Does he still run if we're farther away? Or does he stop? Okay, looks like he kind of stops. Let's try this again. What can we make him do? To bite or put to sleep? Uh, I guess to make catch him, we would want to put him to sleep. But that's not really going to do anything for us at the moment. Maybe, do we just have to go up there stinking like ass again? And then maybe the bear will do something else? No, now he's just running back down to the bottom. Hmm. Hey, bro. Can you maybe do anything? 
I love how we can just grab the air next to him, too. That's cool. Me, too. I also can get away with some cinnamon scented candles. I like cinnamon as well. Cinnamon's another really good scent. Noodle likes fruity scents. There's just something in this one you're not the biggest fan of. Oh, the Juicy Couture one, you mean? Yeah. Noodle just likes being mean to me, that's all. <laughs> Alright, so... What do we do, man? So we scare the bear up top. He eats his honey. That lets us bounce. But then where do we bounce to, right? Because if we scare him again, he just goes back down to the bottom. So that doesn't do anything for us. But that is way too far of a jump to get all the way over there, right? Like, we tried it. Yeah, no, we can't get over there. Um. Hmm. Maybe we have the bear attack while he's up there eating the honey? I don't know what the hell that's going to do for us, but... Bite. Yeah, it did absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> and I don't think we can flee this dude. Yeah, no, he just gets squashed on the invisible wall that surrounds him. Uh... I'm pretty sure if it would let me, I would just... I would be able to just, you know climb up over this. <laughs> got lucky and got some fancy ones for free to try to put them in back for grabs at work. Now I'm interested in a Fruity Pebbles wax melt. It's, I don't think it's terrible, but it is a bit strong, IMO. Nah, I mean, the fuck did you grab? Uh, <laughs> Was that whenever I was just floating over... Oh, we're dead. When I was just floating in midair? Is that what you mean? Yeah. There's just an invisible wall that surrounds this dude. Ah, come on. Now I'm not going to be able to grab it again. <laughs> ah, whatever. I give up. Point is, game's broken as hell. <laughs> nice garden rain, something that doesn't kill me or my nose. I like, uh, I like all kinds of scents, to be honest with you, but I generally do prefer, like, a vanilla type of scents. Okay, I doubt we can go this way, right? Ooh, we can, okay. Oh, that just kills us, though. <laughs> hmm. If anybody has any ideas on what the hell to do here, I am here for it. Because I'll be 100% honest, I don't know what the hell to do at this point. That doesn't do anything. What if we smack the bees and then bang the bees down to this guy? No, they're just, they're just, <laughs> they're just screwing with the bear. Okay. Can, can I hit this dude to do something? What am I doing? Also, that was a random big-ass jump. Bro, I'm about to bring that walkthrough video back up. Because, like... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe... Maybe if I use the juju power while I'm in the air. Maybe I can, like, float longer or, or something. Right? I don't, it's the only idea I got right now. This game needs a quest marker like bad. I know what we're like where we need to go, right? We need to get to there. But we can't get to there because there was a landslide that blocked the path right there, right? So I thought like maybe the bear would do something or we could make the bear attack this dude and that would do something. But, like, I can't seem to do anything. And I, uh... I don't know what to do, though. 
what what are these? Yeah, those don't seem to have collision or anything, so. There's no hints or anything like that. The worst part is this game I'm pretty sure is made for like children. So <laughs> So the fact that like I can't figure out what to do is pretty uh <laughs> is pretty bad. Okay, we just got flung off the freaking mountainside. Is there like a glitch I can take advantage of? What if I just keep mashing X to fly instead of holding X to fly? <laughs> what will that do for us? Anything? Okay, so we can uh, kind of fly farther with that, but still not far enough. What happens if we scare the bear back to where he was, but put him to sleep now? Does that do anything? Because I didn't try putting him to sleep while he was down there, right? I just tried putting him to sleep while he was up here. I don't know what the hell that would possibly do for us. But it's the only thing I feel like I haven't tried yet. Nah, I've seen if we could hit him, I walked. <laughs> we can't. Alright, put to sleep. Ah, oh, when he goes to sleep, he goes on his stomach. And we can't jump on him at that point. Darn. Oh! Wait, I do have one idea. He threw us, didn't he? Whenever we uh, had him attack us before in the other area. Maybe if we hit him while he's eating honey, maybe he'll throw us all the way over to the other side. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm sure at some point it gave us a hint or something telling us what the hell to do. But since I, I can't hear all that well and I'm not paying that much attention, this has ended up being extremely confusing. And if this doesn't work, man, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like, okay, maybe okay, we'll wait until he's actually like over there eating honey and try again. There we go. Okay, smack him. And then I want you to throw me this way, bear. Bear, throw me, please. Uh, hit the bees. Bees get bear. Bees get, bees get bear. Bear, attack me. Something. Oh my lord, I have no idea, man. That was my last idea. <laughs> I don't know. It's Sensational's Marshmallow Krispies and it looked like Fruit Pebble Cereals bars in the picture. It's like two dollars. Uh, okay, go back. All right, so <laughs> while I while I look at this walkthrough like a pleb, uh, how's everybody doing tonight, man? Everybody, <laughs> everybody doing well? Yeah, yeah, having a good night. I uh. <laughs> Honestly thought this game was gonna be a bit easier than what it's 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 uh, how it's going right now Okay, they jump on the stomach. Oh Okay, no, I definitely didn't know this I Had no idea this was a thing. I don't remember it ever showing anything on this like uh or mentioning anything so if we jump on it multiple times we start floating in the air and he grabs us and then throws us i don't think the game ever showed us anything like that what the hell man this game sucks it's too hard I, the thing is like the game itself isn't even all that hard it's just like it's being it's just not showing us what to do at all Again, maybe he, like, mentioned it at some point and I didn't hear him because I was doing other things. But I don't know, man. It's a little bit irritating, that's for sure. But it's fine, we got it. 
Waiting on taxes like it's the day before Christmas. Feel ya. You must outrun the spark or the boom dust will explode. Uh, outrun the spark or the boom dust will explode. So wait, does that mean I can just like... I'm thinking I didn't get it close enough. Let's try again. I probably got to get it like right up against it. There we go. That'll do it, right? Yeah, there we go, boys. I mean, I'm getting fun stuff, but I'm mainly excited to finally be able to catch up on bills. That's what we're using most of our... I mean, like, our bills aren't behind, but we have some debt. And that's what we want to, uh... That's what we want to spend ours on, for the most part. Just catch up on all of our debt. That way we have more money each month, in general, you know? Because if we pay off the debt, then we don't have to pay that debt every month. Which means more money for us to spend on whatever the hell we want. Uh... Purple feathers, please. Purple feathers, please. Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully, we're supposed to be blowing up this juju, because uh, because <laughs> I don't really know. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. that is what we were supposed to do. Who the hell uses a fish to? Thanks for the stash of sweet. Open it. Empty it on the ground. Okay. Now, what about some help getting down the river? First, Weird. Give me a lollipop. Weird as shit. Him, me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's weird as shit. <laughs> now give me a chocolate munch crunch bar. Oh yeah. Greetings, weary travelers. There is no longer any reason to fear. I have brought to you the awesome power of the sacred sandals. Only they don't seem to work so well. Marshmallow Supreme and a nutty spuddy bar. <laughs> Bro, now I'm wanting some candy. Oh, I need some sweets man. in my life. Uh, maybe you two want some alone time, because what you're doing... It's freaking the lock. No, we don't want any alone time. What we want is a boat. I'm not feeding you any more candy. You promised us a way down the river. I want it now. No problem. I mean, hey, Dad, technically, I guess that there. works. Why don't you feed me another lollipop? Because you're disgusting. Grape, creamy center. <laughs> yeah, but, well... I mean, this dude has hands. Why doesn't he just get his own damn lollipop? Did Kronk just kill the juju? <laughs> I'm going in. I think Kronk just killed the juju. Holy shit, has it been an hour? Man. I feel like the last couple weeks the streams have just been flying by man i guess it helps that i have wonderful people to talk to like y'all that's why uh was the game glitch on the graphics or was that me it was probably i was looking at chat so i didn't see but the co-worker gave you textbooks at a discounted price saved you a hundred bucks for you that's awesome all your shit's behind from a year of bad luck in worse decisions. Feel like a two-ton weight of stress is being lifted. That's awesome, honestly, man. Glad that's uh, finally happening for you, you know? Ew, crunk, go away. Yeah, you can tell this game was made for, like, little, little kids. Or, like, uh, pre-teens, young teens, or something like that. Because it definitely has, like, that, that young, immature, kind of dumb humor. <laughs> Alright, guys. But, yeah, since it has been, like, an hour, Twitch is gonna run an ad, whether I like it or not. Here in a few minutes so we're gonna take a short break while i stand up stretch maybe take a drink and uh run an ad we'll be right back guys it actually overfill the screen um so that i can get a clean 1080p signal without any sort of uh what's it called interpolation or whatever but the problem with that is that it overfills the screen so some games the ui elements don't always like to line up perfectly 
I mean, this was an extremely easy puzzle mode. I'm sure there was a better way to do that. Like, maybe you could have did that in one or two shots or something. But I cleared the stage. That's all I care about. And try another one out for the hell of it. I want to know who went around spending time creating all these odd-shaped billiards tables, right? There can't be that big of a market for billiards tables in the, the shape of a star or a, a T or a plus or whatever. An L. Like, who out there is, is ordering pool tables in the shape of an L? Can't be that many of them. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very expensive hobby here. Buying odd shaped pool tables because they got to be one offs so you're you're probably talking you know I, I would i i don't know i'm guessing but i, I would say probably like ten thousand dollars a table or something is that unreasonable i have no clue i feel like i shouldn't have placed the ball yet because i don't actually know where the other one is okay so there's one behind me two over there um okay well let's see there's one there and then we still have four shots left though so this might be okay can we just hit you somehow that game that was just on screen real pool somehow i ended up with two copies of that so uh if anybody wants real pool for some reason. <laughs> you played a lot of games you were excited for also, and thanks. It's nice. You had a little breakdown. Not in a bad day, though. The other day when I was telling Sierra, just like an, oh, damn, I don't have keep pool because things are going to cool moment. Yeah, honestly, like I said, man, that I'm really happy for you, you know? And yeah, I have definitely played a lot of games I've been excited for. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of really cool games on the PS2, and uh, I'm, I'm happy that I've, I've had the opportunity to play them, but there's so many more that I, oh, well, okay, we're already taking hits. There's so many more that I still want to play, though, that's for sure, and so many that I want to finish, that I want to complete, but uh, don't have the time for that yet, but, oh, Lord Almighty, okay. We are freaking flying around. What was that? But, yeah. <laughs> Don't have the time to play everything I want to play yet. But someday, man. Someday. Goals, you know. As the kids would say. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to die. <laughs> what is with these rapids? Let me out. Oh, God. We're so fucked. Okay. Good. There's a whirlpool. Did we actually make it or nope okay definitely have not made it ow 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 oh god the, the controls here are a bit jank but this part actually kind of fun like this is what the oh, okay yep this is yep uh-huh yeah we're <laughs> oh god we're dead we're so dead <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. At least are we starting over from the beginning or is this like halfway through? I think this is like halfway through, maybe? No, this is the beginning, isn't it? Trash. We need a, a checkpoint, please. Okay, at least now I actually know what I'm doing, but uh I don't know if that's really helping too much though. Man, it's, like, hard to steer because the currents pull you in all different kinds of directions. Well, at least we got through that area. That helps a lot. Because <laughs> last time, that's where, like, half our health went was we got stuck in that one stupid section there. Um, we can't jump in this part. Okay, that hurt. GG. This game really sucks. It should not be this complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't think it sucks. I would, if I was to rate it, I would give it like a, a below average. But I wouldn't say it sucks, right? I'd give it like a, a uh, 
two to three out of five, something like that. You know? Uh, uh, can I get out? Okay, you know what? I might take that back. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's fucking glitched as shit, though, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, like, how did we get stuck in that like that? And then the way the camera was just, like, flinging around all over the place. Oh, Lord. I love it. I love it. This is great. I also do just play bad games sometimes. Like, that. that is possible. That this is just one of them cases. Although, normally, I feel like I'm pretty good at recognizing what's a bad game, though. Y'all should uh, try South Park on the PlayStation 1 at some point, man. That's, uh... That's, like, set my, my bar for bad games. So, all other games now just seem decent in comparison to that. Because it is so bad, man. Like, that game... Is by far the worst thing I've ever played. You mean the turkey game? That's the one. Yes. Yep. Heck that game for sure, Ru. <laughs> that game sucks ass. I beat it. I completed it. I played through the entire thing. And, uh, yeah. It's on YouTube. It's not particularly interesting to watch. But, uh, but I did beat the entire thing and put it up on YouTube. <laughs> Why are there so many whirlpools? Oh, God. There are not this... I Look, I've never actually gone uh, white river rafting. But, like, I'm fairly certain there's not whirlpools just in the middle of the river <laughs> every freaking uh, 10 feet. I'm fairly certain. I mean, some maybe somebody who, who goes all the time could correct me on that. But uh, I'm... Pretty sure that's not how this works. Oh, my Lanta. Are we done now? Nope. Okay, we got another downhill section. Okay, yep, yep, uh, yep. That's good. Please tell me we're almost done. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Looks like the hard part is over. We can take it easy. Time to just kick back. It's like the Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase Ice level all over again. Wait, do you see Black Sonic with guns? It's also known as Shadow the Hedgehog. That game had no right at its complication points. I do want to play that game at some point, though. Is it bad you never got into Sonic? Turkey game. You did? I never got past the first level? Yeah, I beat the entire game, man. It literally, at points, started making me ill. Like, physically ill. I started feeling sick playing that game. Because of how bad the camera is and everything on it. I was also playing it on the PlayStation 1. I don't know if it's any better on the N64. But regardless, it's bad. Oh good, we're in Dreamland again. You found your ramen? Why do you automatically assume I hid it from you? I don't hide your shit. <laughs> it's fun, but definitely had some weird difficulty points that could have been avoided. It's also basically Sonic with Edge, the game. Though you did enjoy it. So I do want to try it out. I, uh, I'm i kind of split on Sonic games. The classic Sonic games I like, but I, I feel, you know, obviously Mario was a lot better. And I do get annoyed with them at times. Um, and then, like, the newer ones, I remember liking Sonic Heroes a lot when I was younger. But I went back and played it for the stream a little while ago, and it was uh, not as good as I remember, that's for sure. Like... You don't have to yell at me. <laughs> okay, Noodle. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. You creep. <laughs> the only one you ever played was Sonic.exe. I've never played that one. That's uh, that's not that's not a creepy boss, right? That's just a fan game. Came from up there, right? So what's over here? Oh God! I thought we were dead. Oh, good. Another another recipe. Oh. Cool. Combo attacks, guys. We can do combos. Let's see what useless recipe we got this time. Try your hand at mixing your own formula. No. Flea Flyer, one player. Attack to opening cinematic. 
Balloon Head Showdown 1 and 2 player. I guess like if I had friends to play this game with IRL, then maybe the Juju Potions would be kind of neat. But like as it is, I don't really care. They don't do anything for the single player game. So why, why would I care really, you know? It's both technically, but people have improved on it and it actually calls you out by name now. That's kind of creepy. I remember I was reading a, an article or watching a video about this game that came out, an older PC game. I forget which one it was exactly, but it data mined your computer, which obviously a lot of people had problems with because it didn't tell you it was going to do that anywhere. But it data mined your computer to find what it believed your name was. And if it was any of the most common, like 200 names or whatever, it would just whisper your name in the background every once in a while, all creepy like, and just like say things using your actual name to you and shit. Um, but it was always like a whisper, just in the background, just creepy as hell. Like, <laughs> double jump and press square. So we can do like a dive attack. It's kind of weird. Shadow is pretty fun, but so far off from regular Sonic games, Sonic Adventure and Adventure 2 were your favorites. I want to, like I said, I want to try all of them at some point. I've heard good things about the Sonic Adventures games. Sonic Heroes is okay, but is also, like so many Sonic games, is a buggy mess. Um, and it's just repetitive as shit if you want to actually complete it. Because all of the characters have, like, the same levels and basically the same movesets and whatnot. It's just the dialogue and story that's a tiny bit different, but all the gameplay is the same, so, you know, a little meh, I guess. Sonic Mania is pretty decent if you like old-school Sonic games. I beat that one the other month. <laughs> I almost said the other day, but then I was like, no, nah, I guess it's actually been quite a while now since I've, uh, since I've played it. Uh, so he, he, he's a face hugger. Okay, cool. There should be a YouTube video on it so you can see how it looks. And don't worry, it calls you out by name because you give it access to the name of the profile. It's being played on on the computer. Yeah, see that? That would be fine. Like if it did that. But, uh, like I said, the, uh, the one that I remember reading about or, or watching a video about definitely did not do that <laughs> it's straight data mined your computer now like it didn't connect to the internet it didn't share any of the information it data mined or anything so like it was still secure but just the the thought of it you know of it doing that was what was like creepy as hell ben drowned is basically the only creepypasta i really know at all I've never watched that many videos on Creepypasta. Although I watch a lot of game theories on on uh, indie games that are basically Creepypastas. <laughs> the intro to Adventure 2 is your top 10 intros, or is in your top 10 intros, really? Adventures, those games were on the PS2, right? Or at least the first one was, I think. You've met a terrible fate, haven't you? What's the, uh, that other creepypasta-like thing that a lot of people are into? Is it SCP? Is that what it's called? I've heard of some of those, and they sound interesting, but I've never, uh, never, like, read any of those stories that people have made, either. It is time to put your training into practice. Oh, that's what all this is? It's been our training? Okay, let's put our training to practice, guys. The Dream Guardian must be taking notice of your progress. This strange creature is called a Stalker. It can become invisible when it gets near you. You won't be able to hurt it then, so you must defeat it at a distance. The best way to do this is to throw at it and stun it. As you draw nearer to the okay. Dream Tower... So if we get close, it turns invisible. We can't hurt it when it's invisible. Throw shit at it. Got it. represent the encroachment of the Dream Guardian's power into the world. You should always destroy these thorns to push back his power. Okay. Destroy thorns when we find them. Can do. Well, they really talk that dude up a lot for nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was incredibly easy to take down. 
The reverse song of healing is actually cool though. I feel like I've heard it at some point, but I can't say for sure. Me and my uh, cousin used to listen to a bunch of songs in reverse. We even would like take them and, and reverse them ourselves all the time. Just because like there were there were those songs that, you know, actually say things in reverse. Like legit say things, not like the oh the the fake ones. And so we were always curious like what other songs would, would say things whenever you were in reverse. Yeah, looking for messages, shit like that. We never found anything concrete or anything, but it was a lot of fun. And some songs do just sound neat backwards too, like that is definitely a thing. Adventures isn't on PS2. It's not until PS3. Really? I could have swore one of them was out on PS2, but... Oh, well. Maybe I'm thinking of, like, a GameCube or Wii or something like that. I don't know. Uh, bro, you're bright as shit. Kind of makes it hard to see. So do we actually have to destroy all these thorns, or are we just wasting our time with it? It is on GameCube and Dreamcast? Wait a second, it's on Dreamcast, but not on PS2? What? Really? That's weird as hell, because the PS2 and Dreamcast were same console generation. As, as was the GameCube, of course. That's weird as hell. Dreamcast was where you originally played it? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that it would definitely be on the Dreamcast because, you know, I mean, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Make Sonic. It makes sense, but uh, I'm just really surprised it's not on PS2. Oh, yeah, that's right. These guys turn invisible. Sorry. I didn't see you over here. I was more worried about the face hugger. We're going to die. <laughs> You think it had to do with exclusives that time? Maybe. Like Nintendo paid them to keep it exclusive or something? Actually, I'm kind of surprised it didn't go to the Xbox in that case. Because a lot of Dreamcast stuff went to the Xbox. Whenever they uh, decide to stop making the Dreamcast. So that seems like the, the logical place for it to go. Why does some sound electrified? Are these dudes electrical now? I don't remember them being electrical before. Are you gonna die or like... There it goes. Jeez, man. That took so much longer than the first one. Oh! Okay, now we have to dodge fireballs? What? <laughs> this is different. This is definitely not the same as it was last time. Holy hell. Okay, we died. <laughs> did you hear of Nintendo shutting down the 3DS store next year? Sadly, I did hear that, man. That sucks. And, like, not only that are they shutting it down next year, but here in a month or two, they're shutting down credit cards. So you won't be able to buy anything new unless you have a old, like, uh, code card or, or eShop gift card or whatever like that. So, yeah. It sucks, man. Like, charging up help? Why aren't you dying? Wait, seriously? Lame? Yeah. Yep, for real. All the more reason to uh, hack your consoles, man. Honestly. I think they did say at least that you'll be able to still download your, your games that you already paid for, though, right? I'm pretty sure they did say that, but... Which is good. It would have really sucked if you couldn't even download the, the games that you've already bought and played for. But yeah, and there's just a shit ton of games on the, the DS that were exclusive to either the, the DS or uh, Wii U as well is another one that they're shutting down at the same time. And with the Wii U, I mean... Obviously, the console itself was never that huge. It had decent sales numbers, but nothing amazing. But uh, it was really popular among indie devs, the Wii U was. So there's a lot of cool... Uh, uh, seriously? How did we take so much damage? That was like a full health bar worth of damage. Well, hopefully we don't get hit again. 
But anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of like eShop exclusive games on the Wii U too that from indie devs that just won't be accessible at all anymore. Until 2010, it's only on console. Which, wait, what? It's, it's only console was GameCube, Dreamcast, and PC. Weird as shit, but okay. Okay, yeah, we're dead. How the hell did we take so much? We had like a full health bar and then we went down to nothing, man. And this dude like doesn't, these dudes don't want to die. Okay, so one hit from these dudes basically murders us. Okay. That one didn't come back to life, which is weird. Are we touching it? Like the, the, the spikes or something? We didn't touch the... I'm confused. Alright, so dodge that. Okay, so it didn't hurt us that time when we touched it at all. Try again with this one over here. Okay, come back to life. Do Good job dodging. Attack. I, I was down! I couldn't do anything! What the hell? <laughs> That's annoying as shit. What if we, like, charge up? Does that do anything? No. Yeah, it seems like we just gotta- we just gotta get good, man. That's all it is. We just suck. Gotta get good. <laughs> Alright. And then... A couple hits. Got it. And then again. I just don't know why, like, it did so much damage there. On that last one, man. Like, we went from having three quarters of health bar down to, like, nothing in one hit. That was insane. Wait, did we actually kill it, or did it just run away from us? It just ran away from us. Jeez, that hurt, too. I'm surprised there's no, like, health around here at all. Fuck! I forgot that it was going to swing as soon as it came out. What was that? Bro, this game. This game is irritating the hell out of me. We thought DMC was hard. Turns out the real hard game here was Tac 2 and the Power of Dreams. <laughs> but I collect that yellow orb. I think those yellow orbs give us a tiny bit of health. Not very much, but something what was uh, I I don't know I just don't know it's like we're just randomly taking big ass hits and I don't understand why it's confusing the shit out of me you gotta get going unless they cancel school tomorrow you gotta turn in early anyway say that again unless DMC gave you hella easy mode hella easy mode is uh the honest truth like holy shit okay we're dead anyways <laughs> have a good night Rue. thank you for hanging out while you could man i hope school goes well for you tomorrow all right so just jump out of the way of that and then just beat it like it shouldn't be that hard it should go relatively easily okay well i was expecting him to swing not to uh, pound but i guess that works too it's fine we just can't get hit on the rest of these ones <laughs> you would think with this game being aimed towards like younger kids too that it would like uh it would give you a little more health in between each one of these things it makes me wonder if it's glitched again and it's not supposed to do this much damage but hit him holy crap Thank you, Lord, baby Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> that should not have been nearly that difficult. Holy hell. That was redonkulous. Also, I just uh, put my hand down to type in the chat command PS2 and noticed that I got a big streak of chocolate on the back of my hand somehow. So, that's nice. <laughs> I'm a mess. Hey, 
Uh, sorry about the flea bites, but it... Oh, never mind. Let's get going. Okay, let's get going. Also, I know you're transformed as a flea, but shouldn't you be able to control your own actions and not, like, fight the hell out of me? It's to always keep an eye out for feathers. <clears throat> That's the only thing you've learned in all your years as a shaman? Keep your eyes out for feathers? I think we could use a better town shaman, guys. Just an idea, I don't know. What is over here? Nothing? No, that's where we came from. Okay. Uh, new animal friend? I'm guessing you're not gonna be friendly. What happens if I, like, jump on your tail? What happens if I hit you? Okay, what if I flee you? I mean, we could get a hint, but bite okay hit there's some stink weed this man is every bit as foul smelling as a skunk stink weed smells like a skunk okay this is true anybody who smelled stink weed definitely knows it smells like a freaking skunk oh we can scare the beaver to the beaver dam and then and then what holy crap bro Okay, that water is fast as shit. <laughs> okay. I feel like... <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet you we weren't supposed to get over here like this. I bet you were supposed to, like, flee him. And then, like, make him bite. No? Oh, yep, yep, yep. There we go. Yep. <laughs> So we just kind of cheesed it a little bit then. <laughs> and then he gives us logs to try to, to get over here on. That makes more sense. Hey, thank you for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it as always, love. You and your little your little corgis. Let's defeat those goodies and free him. He knows the way of the feather. I don't even know what that means. What is the way of the feather? Also, why do we have, like, no health? Do we lose health every time we drop down the, uh, the water there? Or that one time we drop down the water? Or did those guys just get a shit ton of hits in on me and I didn't even realize it? I don't know, honestly. Um, okay, bear bro. Is there anything we can do with bear bro? Get up there. What if we make him attack? Can we hit him with a flea through that cage? I feel like there's probably going to be an invisible wall stopping us from going through that cage. Yeah. Yeah, I figured as much. Can we do a high attack on it? We can, but it does nothing. Okay, so maybe that's something that we deal with later then. The shaman that only knew the feather. It sounds like a terrible book. <laughs> the shaman that only knew the feather. Oh, hi there. shaman. They can be very dangerous, Tack. Be careful. Woody Shaman, eh? Wait, isn't that where we just came from? Why is he appearing now? Like... Hold on, I want to get the those gems. Yeah, I don't really care about y'all down there. Just to be honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend y'all don't exist for the time being. You ain't doing nothing for me. Doing nothing but being a pain in my ass. Uh, where did Beaver Friend go? We freed him. He ran this way. There he is. Beaver Friend, I need to bite you with a flea, apparently. Cause that's 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 how this works. Is this he's gonna like chew down the tree this time? Yeah, there we go. Wait, do we have to do it again? No, okay, there it goes. Just took a moment. 
Can we jump that far? Feels a bit far. Or is the water not moving as much here? The water may be more of a standstill here compared to that other area where it was like freaking flying, dude. Um. Okay, I don't think there's any way for us to get like up there. Right now, is there? No. So maybe we have to defeat these dudes and then... Oh, the, the Woody Shaman's actually like down now. Okay. So, I mean, they really talked that dude up a lot for nothing. <laughs> dude was extremely easy to beat, man. Went down like a chump. Poke me with your stick, you freaking Woody. I don't understand how beating Woody's just randomly makes uh, cages blow up, but, you know, it's a video game. It doesn't need to make sense, I guess. Oh. Uh, and this is how we died. <laughs> Big juju damage. Okay. Now we have a special attack. And dish out some big damage. Hold down L1 button while attacking or throwing to really let our enemies. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Hold down L1. Oh. That actually, I mean, it looks kind of neat at least. That like explosion effect that it had there. That's kind of cool, I suppose. Wait, uh, no, I want to go the other way. They are very territorial and at home in the mud. Thank you for explaining that, Mr. Shaman, sir. I'm sure there's no way I could have figured that out through gameplay alone. I had a hold of that, man. We were like right on top of that rope. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, no. We jumped on that one twice and he didn't throw us. <laughs> I'm so... Ugh. That one section of the game really makes me mad. Why are we not grabbing that rope? I guess it's because... Like, it must not be marked as being grabbable or whatever, but... I thought because, uh, you know, it's a freaking rope, we'd be able to use it to swing across or whatever, but... Nope. Not in this case. Do we get stuck in the mud? No. Okay, we just... We run slowly in the mud. That's all. Fair enough. I'm assuming, though, we can flee him. And when we flee him, probably, like, put him to sleep. Sleep. Little boar. That didn't work. You're supposed to be sleeping. Jump, please. Holy shit, dude. Uh. Oh, man, that jump is actually kind of hard. Uh, can we have more feathers, please? I could use some extra health, actually. Um. Maybe we should try getting stinky ourselves. Boars are stinky. Maybe we should try getting stinky ourselves. Does that scare away the boar? Like, if we stink more than him? Oh, uh, we can ride the boar? What? <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that just because we're stinky? Or is that like a, a boar feature in general? Like we can just jump on him to ride him. Can I get out of the pit maybe? Jump on the boar. Why? Oh no, he's giving us like love hearts. <laughs> yeah, this boar is into the stink, man. <laughs> That's weird as shit, dude. Alright, well, whatever. It works, I guess. Okay, so now we got the bear over here. Um, does that do anything for us, though? Oh, yeah, okay. He threw us over to here. And from over here, we can... No, don't fall! Get out of the mud! Get out of the mud! Oh, we're so screwed. <laughs> we're so screwed. No! <laughs> Give me the stinky flower! Stinky shit. <laughs> oh no. 
I didn't mean to fall in. Oh, wait, we respawned with no health. Did we did we respawn with infinite health? <laughs> Uh, I'm confused, man. Oh no, now our health bar is showing up. What? Why did our health bar like disappear? This game is buggy as shit, bro. Like. I'm, I'm trying to jump on the boar while I'm stinky. It won't let me freaking jump on him! How many shamans do we have to kill? Alright, you know. <laughs> is, there a, is there a save menu? Uh, continue, just quit. Alright, well. <laughs> it's basically 1.30 anyways, guys. So, we're gonna call it there for the night. Especially because, uh, yeah. This game is, uh, it's a game. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me. I do appreciate it, one and all. Nate, Noodle, uh, Rue, of course. Anybody else that just hopped in and watched. I appreciate you guys being here. And I hope to see you again Thursday for who knows what. Some sort of PS2 game. Hopefully one that ends up uh, playing a little bit better than this. Thank you again for the five bits, Noodle. I appreciate it a lot, love. You're the best. Over 200 or 200 exactly. Either way, that's a lot. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Maybe I should have done a little bit harder.